I will start recording also for others who are a bit late or may come, may not come. Okay. So please share your screen. Great. Okay. Everyone can see the screen, guys. Or... Yes, sir. Yes, yes. This is my transaction number and this is my shipment number. Okay. okay. Then one transaction number, there are multiple shipment numbers. Mm -hmm. So this is the data from where I want to extract. These are, this is the transaction number and this is shipment number. If you see is <coughs> single transaction number, again that single transaction number, there are three uh, shipment numbers. Okay. And I want these three shipment numbers here in row. It's like this. So... <laughs> Okay, so VLOOKUP is not a right fit for this. Uh, you have Office 365, right? No, sir. Can sir, you... I think grouping, a grouping will be okay for this. Yeah, grouping or something like that, filtering and then joining needs to be done. Okay, because, because there are multiple results against the same element. That's why VLOOKUP cannot work. VLOOKUP will always give you one value. Okay. So VLOOKUP will never work. You need to have uh, something like, okay, can you type equal filter? I want to see whether that function is filter there. Filter not working. Filter not working. Filter is also not there. Yes. Yes. Mm. It's your Excel, which is limiting us. Mm. Otherwise filter function is one which can help. Ah, yes. Power query may help. Okay, let's do one thing. Uh, create a pivot out of your data set. Go to sheet three. Delete column D. Do column D is not having anything, right? Yes. Delete it. Control minus is the shortcut to delete. Okay, so next time you can save some time. Uh, now create a pivot table between column B and C. Just select any cell pivot table. And create a new worksheet. And okay. No, that will also not work. You need uh, those kind of functions. Um... There's no other way. Like we can think of it, but uh, it's not coming to my mind as it is because we need those functions. Text join function will help you. Okay. Filter will help you. Mm. And these two functions specifically we need. So what filter will do? So we will write a function like, uh, can you share this sheet to me? Yes. I'm trying to show you at least from my uh, Excel. Mm. Right on the chat. Or put it on the WhatsApp group also. That's also fine. No, okay, I'll put it on WhatsApp group. Just two minutes. Okay. Till that time, any other question? Anyone else? Hi, Kajal. Uh, hi, sir. Actually, in Piper table, you told us that how to remove that comma. That I forgot. How to remove the comma? Yeah. What was that comma? Like comma means? That I mean, uh, amount in between amount mm -hmm. uh, that comma you put, uh, and after that, uh, you have told us how to remove it. So, actually, right now I'm not having any table to show you, but I, I have that Excel file, but uh, like I don't know what, what do you know? Oh, what uh, what ma'am is asking is there any uh, numbers? Between the numbers, if there is any comma, she has. Uh, okay. We have to delete it. Right. Am I right, ma'am? Right, right. Okay. So right, right, sir. Great, great. Now I understand. Thanks, uh, Veera Babu, for explaining that. I will share my screen. I think we can uh, do it with find and replace, right, or substitute. Substitute will be better. Find and replace uh, will not help. Okay, like it can help, but it will be manual every time. Okay. So let's say I have some number and I type, I might be having that file, don't worry. Okay. 
text functions. Okay, we have data cleaning exercise. And here we can go for numbers, numbers, number downloaded as text. Let's say this one. Screen is visible, right? Or not yet? Yeah, now it's visible. Great. So this, this is the comma. How to remove uh, in pivot table? So you have to do it in the data. Pivot table will not function with this. Okay. If you want to add, it will not give you addition. Pivot table will not give you addition. So you have to do it before pivot. Okay. And then pivot will help you to summarize. Now, how to do it? So this is the uh, original data. And we want to keep it something like this, which is without comma. So comma, okay. we would like to see it in the formatting, but not in the real content. Okay. So what okay. you what is stopping uh, this particular cell to become a number? These are the commas. Okay. So right. the function known as substitute, as Kajal mentioned, substitute function will substitute a particular thing with something else. Okay. Now it is okay. asking what is your original text? So that's my original cell. Comma. Then it is asking what is the old text which you want to replace. So, okay. put double quote, comma, and close the double quote. So, we want to replace comma, but because comma is a text character, so we need to put it in double quotes in any function. Okay. So, we want to work on A2. We want to replace this comma. Correct. Then with what? It is asking what will be the new text. So comma ki mm -hmm. jage So we can say ki double quote and double quote because we don't want to do any replacement. We just want to get rid of it. Right. Okay. And we can close it here itself. And this will give us the clean number. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. thank you. Uh, still one, some more things you need to do. Okay because this will not work. What happens that substitute is a text function. So it will do the cleaning, but it will give you the result in the text format. So if you see, when I'm selecting okay. these cells, it is not adding them. It is only showing the count. Mm -hmm. So you need to take Correct. of a function known as value. Okay. Value function, what it does, it can convert a number which is stored as a text. If you say that, okay, I have ABC and convert it into a number. No, that is not uh, like physically possible. But this number 190000 that was stored as a text and we can convert it into a number. So that can be done by value function. So we will have to use substitute, which will clean it. And then we will have to put that result inside value function. So that will convert it into number format also. Okay. Once number format is done, then you can do summation, average, pivot, whatever you want to do, charts, everything will work after that. Okay. By the way, this video, okay. like when I created six, like roughly one year back on TikTok, uh, two million views were there on this particular trick. Okay. Next question. Deepak, have you shared the file? Yes, shared in chat box. Okay. I don't see it. Where did you share? Aklesh, uh, okay, can chat, I use? Chat box, fine. I was looking at the Zoom chat or oh, WhatsApp chat. Yes, someone was saying something. Sorry. Yeah, Aklesh, uh, where about you? Can I, can I uh, share my screen? Uh, I have uh, two doubts. Sure. Please share. Yeah. yeah, is it visible? It's coming, I guess. Yes, I can see it. Yeah. Uh, see, uh, there is uh, in C column, uh, there is building address is there, na? 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the column is uh, uh, the contents of village and as well as phone number also. Okay. Uh, can we split this uh, phone number and uh, this uh, string, uh, this area? Splitting. Okay. Uh, can you scroll down? Uh, is it always after the hyphen? Where, where I have to mention, please? No, I am saying is uh, I want to see the pattern. Is it always after the hyphen or it is? Uh, okay, I can see there are. It is after. It's after the hyphen on. After the. No, it. No, it is some, are without some are some are uh, different also. Yeah, so let's look at it other way. Is it always uh, at the end? Yes. Mobile number or? Uh, mobile number. You want mobile number? Mobile, mobile number I need uh, in uh, next uh, column. Okay. So you want address and you want mobile number, right? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Now you need to understand the patterns. Then only this solution can be generated. Okay. Okay. One pattern which I could see was initially at a first look that your mobile number appears after hyphen. Mm. Dash. Correct. But it was uh -huh. not true because in line number nine, it was after a space. Mm. Okay. Then I thought, okay, uh, maybe I need to figure out the last characters. But then in line number three and line number four, last characters do not represent the mobile number. Okay, so we need to think of it like it may, maybe a perfect solution is not ready with us. Okay, one way is just get the last 10 characters and that will be mobile number, maybe. Okay, or maybe get the characters after hyphen that can be mobile number. Uh, that's okay. After hyphen, we can uh, uh, arrange this in other column. That is also okay for me. Okay. Now, uh, this file also you need to share so that I can you share this file? Uh, I can't because it's my office laptop. Uh, anyway, I will uh, send to you uh, through another way. No, no. So let's do it here itself. Okay. Go to column E. Column E, row number two. I don't see any movement. I'll, okay. Go to column. column. E. Yeah. Okay. Second line, because that's where we have the data, right? Second line. Can we use right here, right function? Yes, that's what I'm using. Okay. Sir, why don't you use flash fill? Hmm? Flash, fill control, flash fill control E. Yeah, we can use, but it's always you good to use uh, what we call formulas. Fresh fill every time you have to manage. Whenever you are trying fresh fill, it will work at that moment. But let's say tomorrow data changes, then fresh fill will have to be re executed. That's the problem with fresh fill. Okay. Otherwise, that can also do the job. So uh, go to second line D2 and type equal. Okay. I'm trying to extract the mobile number only. Okay. Equal, ah. Right. Open bracket or double click that blue selection. Select cell C2. Okay. Comma 10 because none of your mobile number Yes. Okay. And press enter. Can I close it? Press enter. Yeah, enter. Okay. Okay. Drag it down and you will see the problems where all the pattern is not fitting. So most of the places it is working, but wherever it was not having mobile number, there it is not working. Okay. Okay. Understood. Okay. Now, to make it clean, what you can do, you can write before write function. After equal sign, type after equal sign in the same formula. 
right before right before right okay if click ka if open bracket okay and then so what i want to do i want to like clean the errors which are not having mobile numbers so i can say i can evaluate them something like okay if the right hand digit are not a number like right hand digits are not a number then give me blank i don't want to see that because it is not a mobile number anymore hmm. okay so that kind of logic i want to write okay so i will write it in my screen because uh, otherwise we will be very slow or you have to share this file with me okay just share me uh, maybe first 10 lines or 15 lines okay 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 in the workshop and share it in the chat box okay otherwise uh, I, i need another solution also i need only mobile numbers uh, not any characters then we can uh, drag it from here to here yes that's what i was trying to write i we will need only mobile numbers okay but yeah, yeah, understood understood okay yeah. so send me 10 15 lines top 15 lines and then uh, we can complete the formula yeah yeah i will send it and the second one uh, i have another question only okay uh, i'm sharing another yeah see uh, this is the your screen is not visible yeah let yeah, me know this is the text file okay okay uh, i need only one two three three columns is required for, from this uh, uh, area okay when i am uh, uh downloading this data from text to excel file i can okay. able to uh, take the data but i am using uh, too many times uh, from from clicking all these areas like see bank name all these columns it will take uh, more time see all this area can you show me Can you show me how does it look when you copy paste into Excel? Is it okay? Is it appearing now? Yeah, just paste it into any Excel. No, I'm not pasting. I can open through Excel. Okay, open through I'll Excel. Share another. Open through Excel. That's fine. Anyone? How can we clean this file? data cleaning we need to clean or we need to extract the data yeah so he doesn't want in between headers so that's cleaning or extracting both it is the same thing for extracting we can use the we look up or x look up no it's not work okay so he is opening through text to columns then i think you need power query that's what i think yeah uh, that will be better huh? power power query power, power query. query can help but again it depends when we pull into power query how does it look then only we can like comment whether it will work or not pivot will can also work this, this is the way i'm uh, deleting all the columns yeah pivot will pivot will not help because pivot only works on clean data it doesn't help in cleaning the data at least uh, he can have that, those three columns which he wants separately ah, to get those three columns he need to clean it first so everything else after that this is i am doing regularly okay uh, i couldn't able to manage because uh, only i am having 300 or 400 uh, rows only if it increases it will be very difficult for me no uh, power query can help i think you have to send me the file we can try okay so that's why i said be ready with your sample file so that we can try it okay in front of everyone otherwise uh, it is like half baked solution whatever i will suggest you will not be able to implement it we will not be able to test it 
Okay, so always be ready with these sample files. Okay, your Excel is stuck, I guess. So let's move to the other one. Deepak has shared his file. So let me open that, okay? And then complete this. Okay. You can see my screen, right? Right. Okay. So he is having one sheet, which is having two columns. Let me delete column A. Okay. So we have two columns. Deepak, guide me. Which one is multiple? Which one is unique? Transaction number is unique. Okay. And shipment number is multiple. And yes, transaction number. Shipment number is multiple. Fine. So okay. let's keep this somewhere here itself. Okay. So assuming that we are planning uh, the report here itself and we want shipment numbers here, separated by comma or something like that. Yes. Okay. Now, if you were having filter function, how it will work, okay? So equal, Filter, filter function requires what? Okay, we will select this row. Okay. No, I will select only this one. Okay, that's filter function. And I want to include the rows where this is equal to this particular cell. Let's try. So here it's showing one number. I want, do you have something which is already there? Let's try this number itself because it, it is appearing twice. So, no. Filter function, Akash is here. Okay. So what we are trying to do here. So he, so let's say uh, this number is there. He just wants, so whatever is this transaction number, transaction number is available in this column. Okay. Mm. Mm. He put the list of all the shipment numbers in this cell against this transaction number. This can be done very easily through pivot. Pivot. Sir, trans sir, transaction number, you can put it in uh, pivot only. That is, you put it in row column. After that, you copy it outside. You can put it in a VLOOKUP. It will match, sir. No. Let's create a pivot, OK? This is only, only, only with the transaction, you put it in row. Okay. I always do with pivot only such no. things. Now, how will you how will you transpose it like in a particular cell, one single cell? It can be done. Uh, we can you change can, the can, pattern. Can, we can tabular, change tabular, the pattern. Tabular format. Tabular format. Yeah. Classic pivot table. Okay. Tabular format. Mein. Tabular format. Okay. Now what? So you can. Uh, I mean, uh, subtotal. You can remove it, sir. Yeah. Remote. Sub uh -huh. We can remove the row total. Row total. Now we can put that we look up for this uh, shipper number to that uh, transaction number automatically it will match, sir. 
No, but how will it get? We look up only gives one right. That's the problem. Hundred percent. So now it is a club board now. Sir, all numbers is to come out. All one numbers one. are visible now. For that transaction number two, shipment numbers are there. No, no. Everything is here now. <laughs> That's fine. He wants like this. Uh, correct me, Kadam, if I am wrong. Okay. This is one transaction number. He want this and this combined here in one single set. Yes. So that can be done by the grouping. By grouping. What grouping? Grouping doesn't work here, right? Otherwise, ad address formula will not work, sir. Which formula? Address. Address. Yes. I I seen couple of days back on video, sir. No, I don't know. I have not used this formula, but what it is? I can share that video, sir. Okay. So now, uh, see, it 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 can be done using text join. So let's say if I write a text join function, okay, or equal text join, okay, and then delimiter. Let's say I want to give a comma separator. Mm. And then result if it is ignored, if it is blank, and text. So I want this result. So that's what he is looking. Okay. And like then it will be separated with comma. Se comma or something else, but I think this is what he is looking, right, Deepak? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. And the problem is that it is not only two correct two cells, it is four cells, it is sometimes six cells. So it is changing. Hmm. Okay, so I will have to try it again, but it is possible through filter this text join. Okay, pivots we can help it to summarize it in a better way, but because there were only two columns, so pivot se jada fayda nahi hora. Wohi to generate kar rahe hain hum dobara. Yes. Right. So pivot is not helping that much. So Kadam, I will give you this uh, formula. Uh, I will I will have to try it two three times. But these are the two functions which can through here. Okay. 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 And I will also try to think what can we do without these functions because these two functions are only in Office 365. Mm. Okay. So without Office 365, I will have to really think what can we do. Okay. Uh, let's say if I do it that way, if I put these transactions in columns. It will be too much, I guess. Yeah, there are too many columns. Okay, I will think on it, Kadam. Okay, okay. I, I will think on it. Actually, I was trying it uh, using count if and uh, indirect, but. Uh, huh. Indirect, no. It can be done maybe using index, filter, text joints. Okay, count if and all, they will just count. They will not help you to like combine it or get the values in one single place. Okay. Yeah, next one. So, can you come again with the formula one second? The text side. Which one? Just what you have text done. Text join. Okay, I erased it. So, let me see if I can revert it back. So this was the formula. Text join. It says what delimiter, what separator you want in between. And do you want to ignore any blank cells? And then the cells which you want to join. This is just for a sample. We cannot mention it because for every single value, it will be different range. So we will have to think in a dynamic way. OK. Next question. Like if any one column classes are written, like class one in Roman, class two, class three, class four, class five, and I want to count those classes. So when I was counting, it was coming zero or it was giving an error. Do you have that file? Not file, just just in one column, we have to write anything like the text now, and I just want to count that. Yeah. So which function you were using? 
I use that auto sum function and there I selected the count. Don't use count, count, count up for numbers. Count A, use count A. Count A also I use, then it came zero. Mm -hmm. So let's say this is there, right? If I select this, mm -hmm. it gives me eight. What was written in that? Let's say uh, how to write Roman. Mm -hmm. I don't know here in the keyboard. Do you see somewhere on anything? Let's see. You, see. you can use the function Roman function. So it's equal to Roman. symbol If it counts symbols or not. It is counting everything actually. So it should work. Sample way in America. I will. Okay. Okay. I will send. So count function is only for numbers. It will count. So let's say if we have two or something like T. Mm. Okay. And if I use count, then in the same range, it gives me only two because it is counting, focusing on the numbers only. Count A will count everything, anything. Okay. Next. Sir, I have said a file in WhatsApp group. Let me check. Count A to send Okay. Yes, Sapan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the format where I wanted to put on the B, C, and D, the revenue of particular representative name and the raw data is on the seat number one. What is common between the two places? Apple accessories. Okay. No, the representative name and oh, yes. Revenue, revenue is revenue. the bill amount. Bill amount. Right. For okay. So some if can be used, okay. If based on this number, you can write sum if and then select okay. Let's increase it a little more. Equal sum if okay. So it will sum based on a condition. Now it is asking what is uh, the range. So range is. Some person. Where is that person name? This one, right? Column H. Right. Then the function next criteria is what is the criteria? Yes. This is the name of list of all the names. Then we will say that it should match this cell, Abhishek or whatever is the person's name. Okay. So that is the current criteria for this particular line. Then it is asking, okay, once that criteria is matching, what do you want to sum? Because that's that's the purpose of sum if. Sum if a condition is meeting. Okay. So it is asking sum range. So I will give the bill amount as a sum range. Press enter. Abhishek hai ni kya? So Abhishek ka kuch hoga ni, but aura ka number aara, right? So it is working. Right. Okay. Right. I think we can go some ifs also, right? In this case, it is not really necessary because uh, we you wanted to count all based, you wanted to sum based on only one condition. But yes, by default, you can use some ifs also that allows you to have multiple conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Therefore, just we can forget the sum if also. Yeah, we can forget that also. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yes, I, I Akhilesh, sir, uh, this uh, rep name column, first column of the Sheikh Rabha Ashutosh, can we count these with count A? These names? Yes. Yes. Count Okay. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. 
So some and will be helped. while using the while using the formula, we can go to another sheet and we can select the, there. The yeah, it works. Selection range can be from anywhere. Okay. Now some it's will help. Let's say I only want uh, what what do you want here, Sapan, in this column? The C column, I want only the third party accessories revenue. Okay. So, okay, third party accessories or Apple accessories. And they are written exactly the same spelling, right? Right, sir. Okay. So, let's talk about Apple accessories. Kitna paisa kamata, let's see. So, here we will use some ifs. Okay. Why ifs? So, uh, yes, you can uh, like uh, take that advice that always start with some ifs. Because some ifs can handle one condition, multiple conditions. So why to go for some if only? Okay, so some ifs right, is sir. better. Okay, now because there are so many conditions, so it is asking this uh, some range first, first place itself. So because you don't know how many conditions you will write. Okay, that's why it is asking first time. So we will go there and we will say this is our summation range, column G, comma, then come to format okay what is your range one range one means let's say we, if we go for rep names so for rep names our range will be column h comma then it says what is your criteria for range one so range one you have mentioned now you want to mention what is the current cell so current cell name is this person so you selected a list of people. Now, what is the current person name? That's you need to select. Then it is saying, okay, now give me the second criteria range. Second criteria range was related to accessories, right? So accessories and all, they can be found into, I think the M column. Yes, sir. Then currently, what do we want? So we will say match it from here, Apple accessories. So we are doing kind of a cross lookup, okay? But it will generate multiple rows. So some if helps to combine all of them into one single number, okay? So here, all these things are fine. Only thing is this D3 has to be fixed because you need to move it down, right? You need to copy and drag it down. So it has to be fixed, D3. And I will fix it for, uh, Row number three, that's enough. And when I go down, so this is what I will get. 5700 for Bijou. Let's check it. I will create a pivot, existing worksheet. Location is here itself. Okay. It was rap name, then it was uh, Lobs, and it was Bill Amo. So Bijou, Apple Access case is 5700. That's what we were getting. Okay. So yes, Pivot can do this job much easily. Okay. It will help you to avoid many formulas. So how I do it, I write uh, some if and count if formulas also whenever needed. But generally to avoid the complexity, what I do, I create a pivot first. Because for this combination, Bijou as well as Apple accessories, there were many, many cells, many lines. So pivot has avoided all those lines and given me only one line. So now it can be done by using a simple X lookup or V lookup also. So I will mention something like, okay, just I'm okay inserting one column here. Let's type it here. So I will mention something like, okay, we look up and find me this person. Where? In this range. Okay. Freeze it so that it doesn't move. And then from which column you want the results? So I want Apple accessories, right? So Apple accessories, one, two, three, four, five. So I can write five, comma, zero. So same results I am getting. 
next time when my data updates, I can refresh this pivot. Maybe Abhishek Rabha starts selling something and his numbers will also appear. Okay. But some if has more like uh, usefulness when it comes to the custom reports. Okay. But I take a different route. I keep a pivot because it simplifies a lot of things. And then I use simple formulas to get, get that data into my custom format. And this, uh, this particular approach will help you to design your dashboards also, like once we advance into the advanced uh, or more interactive dashboards. Because standalone pivots, they have a limitation of, uh, like they don't allow customization. Okay. And without pivots, we lose the interactivity because slicers are not there. Okay. So we need to uh, like uh, adopt a hybrid approach of pivots as well as formulas. Okay, Adam. Uh, okay, Sapan. Yes, sir. So like that, you can fill all those things. And even in quantity. Even in quantity, quantity is which column? This one. So rather than column G, you will mention this. Rest, everything else is same. So let's say if we want to go for, do you have Apple accessories again? No, you want to specifically count the iPhone. iPhone is where? Same column? Okay, here. Yes. Column F. And M. so here, if I take this formula, I will paste it here again. And I will check. Let's. I will check, okay, accessories, I want to move it to iPhone. Column M is fine. A6 is also fine. In place of H, what was H? What was column H? Column H was an uh, bill amount. Bill amount. So here I will mention the G. No. It should not be bill amount. It should be something else. H was wrap name. Wrap name. So wrap was fine. The first one we need to change it to column F. Okay. So here. To avoid these confusions, uh, uh, we can name the ranges now so that we will, uh, we will be remembering all the columns that. It will be better if you create it as a table. Hmm. After creating table and uh, name the ranges. Yes. No, no. Creating table automatically name the ranges. So here, look here. If I create a table here, control T. Okay. What is the name of this table? Table one. Let's say we call it uh, data. Simple name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if I had to write this formula again, so I will write here in place of column G, I will write data in that table, open a square bracket, which column I want to use. So I want to some quantity column, close the, close the bracket. Okay. Column H, column H, I want to, let's say match sales rep column. Okay. So I will again write data. That's my criteria. Which column? I will take wrap amount, wrap name, sorry. Then matching value, I will take it from here or wherever I want to take. So let's take iPhone. Okay. Then comes wrap amount is done. This is done. Then comes column M. M is what? A6 is this. M is again write data. Start with bracket. And I want to match with the last column, which was something like LOPS, the products. And here I close it. And matching it with E3 or whatever is the current product. Okay. So Biju has sold only one iPhone, like Gaurav has sold two iPhones, Manoshish has sold three iPhones. So that's a very good practice. Obviously, initially you will not be like inclined toward it. But once you start using names, writing the formula, understanding the formula becomes much more easier. 
but every time we need to write that cable name then only the options will come yes so there are we can copy paste na no, sir we can we can easily copy paste and then just change this portion right you just need to fetch that name you can create normal name range also but then normal range is norm you have to create those names that is also an additional work so which one is less for you you decide according to your situation tables are automatically creating these names so you will save a lot of time let's say imagine you are having uh, 15 20 columns now you will not uh, like to create 15 20 names for different different use and name range is also you will have to create in such a way so that they are dynamic whenever number of rows are expanding that should also expand automatically and that's the reason tables will do that functionality in built dynamic name ranges and you can relate it easily okay yes ah uh, so also uh, so that therefore just it's always to addressable to use the table uh, when you are going to the sum ifs and uh, when you are going to sum ifs and the uh, count ifs sum right? ifs will work okay it will be little confusing what is my criteria look at this formula what is yeah. my criteria what is so it will be little confusing it is working the same way it's just that rather than using this i am mentioning a name which comes from a table so it is yes. good to have a table if uh, possible so the confusion is creating where which so which column or the which row i want to select from that because uh, where, where, so when we go into the column uh, so can you type that that formula please uh, in the sum ifs so it is always giving the confusion for me okay uh, just it is a sum okay. range it is a sum range and then after the sum so build it there what is the criteria okay some so range. just give the some tips for that one because <laughs> so that should not be keep away from our mind okay so the simple thing is whenever it talks about the range that means it requires a bigger column okay okay now it is asking for a sum range that means whatever you want to sum so any numeric column it is looking for okay yeah so that's easy in this case if he is looking for billing total billing or total revenue so obviously column g or bill column you will select so uh, so that means uh... that means uh, so it is that gross value or the number of the where we can fetching the data that is so it will be either this column if he is looking for revenue or this column if he is looking for the quantity sold okay one of them yeah okay let's say we select it manually without going into the names we select it or you can also select it so let's say i start from first cell and go until last cell you see it is showing me G two to G ninety eight. Okay. Yeah. Now here, uh, like Kajal was saying that we need to type the names and all. Okay. How it can be avoided? So I have changed one setting which is there by default in Excel. We have I have stopped using table names by default. So how how I can enable it? File, options, formulas. and this option is enabled by default in your excel so unless you have disturbed it this option is enabled that use table names in the formulas okay okay so when i activate it and now when i write my formulas with normal selection look at the way they are working okay so i am writing a formula here equal or let's write here so so that it's properly visible okay equal sum its okay sum range so i am going into the table and i am starting from my top cell okay and i am putting control shift down so it selects the table and the column name automatically okay so it depends if you are nearby and you can go and select there easily then you do this method but if let's say your table is far away in another sheet and then you you will spend a lot of time to go there and select then it's better to type the table name and then select the column itself okay it depends on your situation which one is better so i got this okay then in the formula it says criteria range so whenever it is talking about range that means it is talking about a bigger list 
Okay. So what will be first matching criteria? Where will you match? So we were looking for people, right? The sales rep. So that is my second criteria. So I will start from the first cell without the header until the last cell. So it has picked up that column name automatically. If you select anything partial, let's say I select these three cells. So it will pick up normal way. But if you select everything, then it understand that you are referring to the table column. Okay. So I will start from the beginning, first cell until control shift down, last cell. So it has picked the name automatically. Then comes criteria. So here range is not there. Range is not there. That means what is the current cell? So wherever you are typing the formula, what is that current sales rep name so that I can match in this range? So I will go to the formula because I was writing the formula here in this row. So my current sales rep name is this cell. And like that, we will continue. It will ask again, okay, what is your next criteria range? Now, again, range means you are going there again and we are looking for maybe product names and all. So I start from second cell, control shift down and automatically it has picked the column names, comma. And then I come here. What do you want to match it with? I want to match it with the iPhone for now. And then I can continue if there are more criteria. Otherwise, I can close and press enter. Okay. Now, okay. This formula, okay. What, okay. This E3 I need to fix last time also. We did right. So that's fine. A6 may, we need to fix A <laughs> because sales rep is always in first column. That's why A should be fixed. Okay. It's working fine. Now let's say I'm looking for iPad now. So I will copy this formula. Paste it here. Okay. So when I double click, it is still referring to iPhone. I just need to drag it to the next cell and rest everything is fine. Okay. So this guy has sold one iPhone. Other than that, everything is, no one has sold. Let's check. iPad, yes, Biju has sold only. Okay, and like that, you can keep on going. So now I can copy the same formula again and again in all these cells. And that will help me. So only tweak whatever is required. So this column needs to be tweaked. So that I will change. Rest everything else will remain same. So dollars ka bhi panga nira because we are using table names. We don't need to use absolute references and all. Or only in the criteria portion, these single single cells. Yes, we need to think on dollars or absolute references to avoid any like formula errors. What next? Fourth. So can you copy these things for the Apple Watch? Oh, I just wanted to verify again, please. So I'll copy in the formula bar. Okay. Come here, paste it in the Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. So this is F3. F3 means this iPad it is working. So I will use H3. Okay, that's the only change. Okay, H is. So Apple Watch, Biju, and Kripan. So Biju, Dharitri, and Kripan Jolie, which is correct. If I remove bill amount and if I bring quantity, here they go. How quickly it is same report is generated. Here I had to change each and everything. Now once this is generated, my simple agar ko, if this structure is rigid, ki my manager is not listening and he wants only in this structure. Okay. So then I will say ki, okay, hai. Uh, I will do we look up from this to this place. Otherwise, I will tell him that uh, buddy, use this <laughs> directly use this now. 
because this has functionality okay he he may say that okay can you give me on a particular week so then here your criteria will become even more complex for a particular month okay so here but most of the time we have to work from the master sheet and we have to uh, fetch that data in the prescribed format which has been given us hmm. हाँ तो सजेस्ट दे चेंज इट इफ पॉसिबल नहीं मानेंगे तो ठीक है समय वगैरह है बट उनको गिव देम समथिंग बेटर ओके ठीक है सो व्हाट आई विल डू इफ लाइक आई वाज प्रेजेंटिंग इट टू माय बॉस एंड ही सेज दैट गिव मी लाइक दिस ओके नाउ है तो सिमिलर साइड डेटा राइट इट इज नॉट अ वेरी डिफरेंट वन ओके देन वट आई विल से सर यूज दिस एंड यू नो यू हैव दिस टाइम लाइन यू कैन सेलेक्ट इट फॉर एनी पर्टिकुलर मंथ okay and you can play with directly uh, so many slices and all so give him some other benefits then only he will try to change otherwise usko iske badle ye de doge to wo kyon change karega sir har do ghante mein mangta hai kya kya sir har do ghante mein mangta hai boss to pivot hi better hai fir ye upar wala format mein chahiye na sir nahi to pivot mein kar hi raha tha sir ऊपर वाले फॉर्मेट में चाहिए वो भी बन जाएगा ठीक है बट अगर हर दो घंटे में मांगता है ना तो देन पिवट इज मस्ट व्हाट यू नीड टू डू ये पिवट यहां से हटा लो कीप इट समवेयर हियर ठीक है एंड उसको दिखाइए यही बट पीछे वाली शीट से बिलू कप कर लीजिए ठीक है उसका फॉर्मेट दो पीवर्ट उसको सर दो पीवर्ट बनाना पड़ेगा फिर एक तो रेवेन्यू के लिए एक क्वांटिटी के लिए अलग अलग दो बना दो ना नेक्स्ट टाइम अगर डेटा चेंज होता है तो देन यू विल जस्ट हैव टू रिफ्रेश इट ना बाकी कुछ नहीं करना समीप में घुसोगे तो यू हैव टू चेंज दी फॉर्मूलाज और रेंज सो मेनी थिंग्स अगर कोई नया कॉलम आ गया कल को तो देन यू विल हैव टू चेंज सो मेनी थिंग्स पीवर्ट्स में सिंपल फॉर्मूलाज रहेंगे आपके सो मेंटेनेंस ऑफ दोस रिपोर्ट्स विल बी इजियर इफ यू यूज पीवर्ट एज द बेस ए maybe a final output or maybe a intermediate output no you just given to the uh, for every month so we can segregate it but uh, how it can be segregated from the one month uh, half of month to the and and uh, half of month for the one month and half of month to the another month that means the 15th of the march to the uh, 14th of the june wo bhi kar sakte hain theek hai here uh, you just need to create a column based on your logic if it is a date that logic you can write using if function what is that logic tell me that uh, even matlab tell me about a but ye data kitna hai this data is only for me to isme hum likh bhi nahi payenge okay but you can write any if function which can group it the way you want 50 50 15 ke baad wala data agle month mein dal do aisa kuch kar sakte hain okay we can do that way so let's say uh, just for simplicity i am taking uh, some dates uh, 1st of may se leke 3 june tak hai theek hai एंड मैं उसके आगे वाला कर रहा हूं जुलाई तक नाउ लेट्स से यू आर सेइंग कि फिफ्टीन के बाद वाला डेटा और अगले महीने फिफ्टीन के पहले वाला डेटा फिफ्टीन तक का डेटा एक साथ कंबाइन करो समहाउ ओके सो आई कैन राइट सम फंक्शन लाइक सो पहला तो कैन वी डू कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग हियर कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग कर सकते हैं बट पिवर्ट में उसको क्लासिफाई कोई कैटेगराइज करना पड़ेगा फॉर्मेटिंग इज जस्ट फॉर विजुअली सीइंग इट राइट वी नीड अ लाइक आउटपुट अ न्यू कॉलम ओके सो वी कैन यूज समथिंग लाइक एंड ऑफ मंथ फंक्शन ठीक है सो लेट्स से इफ इफ द डे ऑफ दिस सेल इज ग्रेटर देन और सॉरी लेस देन equal to less than 
अगर मैं उसका डे पार्ट कैलकुलेट करूं एंड आई वॉन्ट टू एनालाइज दैट इफ इट इज लेस देन सिक्सटीन देन गिव मी दिस एज एंड ऑफ मंथ एंड काउंट इट इन द प्रीवियस मंथ लेट से काउंट इट इन द प्रीवियस मंथ विच आई कैन से माइनस वन अदरवाइज काउंट इट इन द करंट मंथ सेम सेल कॉमा एंड जीरो क्लोज अप एक्ट कंट्रोल शिफ्ट थ्री सो लुक एट दिस आई एम राइटिंग इट आई एम ड्रैगिंग इट फिफ्टीन तक इट विल बी कंसिडर्ड प्रीवियस मंथ के अंडर बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट पिछले पंद्रह और अगले पंद्रह एक साथ ठीक है एज सुन एज इट इंक्रीज सिक्सटीन ये थर्टी फर्स्ट मई में काउंट हो गई है एंड वेन आई फर्दर डाउन थर्टी फर्स्ट तक चल रहा है एंड उसके बाद फर्स्ट जून आ गया है मंथ चेंज हो गया है बट ये अभी भी थर्टी फर्स्ट चल रहा है ओके इट इज स्टिल गोइंग विथ थर्टी फर्स्ट एंड एज सुन एज नेक्स्ट सिक्सटीन कम्स देन इट चेंज इज द नेक्स्ट मंथ सो ऑल दो ऑल दैट ग्रुपिंग कैन बी चेंज यूजिंग फॉर्मुलर्स सम लॉजिकल कंडीशन यू नीड टू पुट ओके सो दैट्स वाई ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी कैन डिस्कस वंस यू आर क्लियर कि अपने डेट वट एवर डेट फंक्शन वी वर हैविंग इन आवर कोर्स इफ यू हैव गोन थ्रू ऑल ऑफ दैम इफ यू हैव गोन थ्रू द लॉजिकल फंक्शन देन यू कैन इजिली अंडरस्टैंड दिस की मैंने क्या किया है सो वट आई हैव डन हियर इज लेट मी राइट इट इन लाइक थ्री और फोर सिंपल लाइन्स ओके एंड एक्सप्लेन यू दिस वट आई एम सेंग की फर्स्ट चेक करो वट इज द डे ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर डेट तो इफ इट इज लेट से इलेवंथ में सो इट विल गिव मी इलेवन सो इट इज चेकिंग इलेवन इज लेस देन सिक्सटीन और नॉट दैट इज करेक्ट ये इट इज लेस देन सिक्सटीन तो देन आई एम सेंग ओके देन इफ इट इज लेस देन सिक्सटीन दैट मीन्स आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट पार्ट ऑफ प्रीवियस मंथ एंड एंड ऑफ मंथ फंक्शन हैज दिस फंक्शनिटी टू जनरेट एनी मंथ एंड किसी भी डेट के बेसिस पे वो पिछला मंथ अगला मंथ दो महीने पहले दो महीने बाद कुछ भी जनरेट कर सकता है सो आई हैव टोल्ड हिम ओके टेक द डेट एंड जनरेट वन मंथ बैक एंड ऑफ वन मंथ बैक माइनस वन मीन्स प्रीवियस मंथ एंड एंड सो वेन एवर इट्स लेस देन सिक्सटीन इट हैज जनरेटेड प्रीवियस मंथ एंड इफ दैट्स नॉट द केस then it has generated current month end which is represented by this zero number okay eight functions are very confusing it will <laughs> it so needs lot of practice actually so i am saying ki try it in bits and pieces sirf pehle if ko samjho end of month ko alag alag se samjho uske baad hum combine karne ki koshish karenge theek hai ओके बोला क्या क्या सो यू नीड इफ लॉजिक वी लुक अप लॉजिक टू कैटेगराइज सर्टेन थिंग्स ठीक है लेट्स से आपके पास इफ uh, फंक्शन नहीं लिखना ये समझ में नहीं आ रहा आपको ठीक है नो प्रॉब्लम कैन यू क्रिएट अ लिस्ट लाइक दिस आपके पास सारी डेट्स हैं आपके ट्रांजेक्शन की यू क्रिएट ए लिस्ट की मेरे को इन डेट्स को किसमें कैटेगराइज करना है वन टाइम मेहनत लगेगा राइट वन टाइम एफर्ट विल बी रिक्वायर्ड एंड देन डू ए वी लुकअप That is easier, right, sir? Yeah. So whenever you get bored of कि हाँ मेरे को इतनी मेहनत भी नहीं करनी है तब जा करके if और end of month और वगैरह में करने लगूँगा. So थोड़ा थोड़ा benefit like थोड़ा थोड़ा improvement लेके आओ अपने formula में. It's not कि मेरे को यही वाला formula आज ही लिखना है और मैंने course भी आज ही join किया है. ठीक है तो कोशिश. I think is it not there any of the functions that we directly to fetching from the rack to open the calendar and get it from that to this one <laughs> no, no i think the power bi may give that solution no power bi may be nahi hoga you have to define power bi also we create a date master because date master requirement can differ from company to company person to person okay so we don't rely on the automatic those four groupings of dates in excel or power bi we create a separate date master 
सो दो सब्सक्राइब टू पावर बी आई दे विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट की डेट मास्टर कितना इम्पोर्टेंट है उनके लिए इन वन ऑफ योर शॉर्ट यू क्रिएटेड वन कैलेंडर लाइक वेरी मच बट आई एम नॉट एबल टू क्रिएट दैट इट्स I am really very confusing and yeah. right I right. am also not able to understand how to create it yeah check check uh, you... we can do many things in that calendar we can highlight like i was watching the people. today only today only my wife asked me to update her leave calendar because she asked me once uh, help related to this i created the calendar and the template to manage her team's leave now her boss is always asking her to modify it and then she asked me again <laughs> so what i will tell you that you have seen this short there is, is a detailed video also in on this topic on the youtube channel so check that how to create it is there mentioned okay sir i have said a file yes apan sir i have said a file on whatsapp group can you check that sir i want you to open the file sir okay नेक्स्ट फाइल अभी भेजा है क्या नाइन जीरो थ्री पे ओके सर गो टू दैट कॉल दैट्स अ कैलेंडर सीट या दिस इज द कॉलम विच यू सेंड सर गो टू दैट सीट नंबर कॉल विच इज रिटर्न सी एल so this is the day trends from start to end so ah. we calculate this as in week 1 and quarter 1 okay arka so start date 25th september to 1st october 2022 it is week 1 week 1 and i should consider this as in quarter 1 okay theek hai then so if i go to if i go to sheet number 4 Hmm. There is a day trends now. I want week and quarter there. Week and quarter. Yes, sir. कर देंगे मतलब हो जाएगा if वगैरह से करना पड़ेगा but time लगेगा. We have already exceeded two days time. Urgent तो नहीं है. नहीं है sir. ठीक है next time देख लेते हैं इसको ठीक है. Sure sir. हाँ. तो तो basically logic को use करना पड़ेगा if my date is less than this date and greater than like greater than this date and less than this date so mera ye hona chahiye that's it okay and try okay. to keep these things in one single format like this okay aise so that maybe we look up or bahut simple functions ho jayenge agar unko alag alag rakhoge to then it will become more complex for you to keep this logic something like this ha okay so weeks ke humko and then ye q1 q2 q3 jo bhi hai isko bhi keep it here something like this so that abhi mere ko kya karna hai कि मेरे को बस ये चेक करना है कि इफ माय डेट लेट्स डू यू हैव द सेम डेट हियर ओके यहां पे एक डेट डाल के देखते हैं सो आई एम टेकिंग समथिंग लाइक ट्वेंटी सेवन सेप्टेम्बर ठीक है ट्वेंटी सेवन सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो आई विल टेक इक्वल ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी टू ठीक है अभी तो वीलो कब भी कर सकते हैं अभी तो वीलो कब भी कर सकते हैं हम वी जस्ट नीड टू मैच इसको किसी भी फॉर्मेट में हमको इसके पास लेके आना है ठीक है ओके वी लुक अप आई एम फाइंडिंग दिस डेट इट सेल्फ ठीक है कॉमा टेबल अरे टेबल अरे इज दिस टेबल ठीक है ए टू सी और ए टू ई कर दो चलो ई एफ जी जो भी है ठीक है बिफोर दैट 
I will unmerge it because it is having some problems. Okay. So we have four columns: one, two, three, four. ये range है, ठीक है? And we want week one, week two, week three, week ये quarters जो भी लिखा है. This is your quarter information. अभी तो problem बहुत ही simple हो गया आपके लिए. So look here. Equal. We look up. I am looking for this cell. ठीक है? And ये इस कॉलम में मिलेगा मतलब इस रेंज में मिलेगा कॉमा विच कॉलम रिजल्ट आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट दिस कॉलम रिजल्ट राइट सी राइट सो आई विल मैं थ्री कॉमा नौ यहां पे क्या आएगा एग्जैक्ट मैच तो वो कह रहा है कि मेरे पास तो है ही नहीं है ओके लेट्स Create a table so that we can see all of them in one go. So. Sir, why are we using the V lookup again and again, X lookup and V lookup do the same things, na? And I think X lookup is more easy than V lookup. It's fine. You can use X lookup also, but here just follow me, okay? It depends. Sab ke paas X lookup wala version nahi hai. It is only three sixty five. ठीक है. 365 और Excel 2019 में आया वो ठीक है तो दैट्स द अनदर चैलेंज इसलिए मैं भी उसको रेगुलरली सारे प्रोजेक्ट्स में यूज नहीं करता हूँ ठीक है अनलेस आई एम श्योर कि हाँ अदर पर्सन इज है तो हियर इफ यू से दैट एग्जैक्ट मैच करना है तो ऑब्वियसली उसको 27 सितंबर मिलेगा नहीं क्योंकि आपने तो वहां पर रेंज डाला है फर्स्ट वीक और लास्ट डेट और फर्स्ट डेट राइट सो यू नीड टू गो फॉर अप्रोक्सीमेट मैच Press enter, and you can see week one. And niche, agar date wagera match kar rahi hai, to kahi na kahi usko. Do you have that date? Kitni dali hai apne? Ha. Twenty third April week four aa raha hai. Twenty third April twenty twenty three. Kahan par hai twenty twenty three? Twenty third April is in this range, right? Week four. That's what we are getting. So else. तो थोड़ा सा टाइम स्पेंड करो कि हाउ टू कीप योर डेटा जिसके बेसिस पे आप सारे फंक्शंस लिखना चाहते हो एंड देन इफ यू रीस्ट्रक्चर इट एंड कीप इट इन अ सिंपलर फॉर्मेट योर फॉर्मुलाज विल आल्सो बिकम सिंपलर नाउ पहले सोचो कि व्हेन आई स्टार्ट इट आई वाज थिंकिंग इफ करना पड़ेगा दो कंडीशन लगानी पड़ेगी लेस देन ग्रेटर देन एंड फंक्शन लगाना पड़ सकता है मेरे को बट देन व्हेन आई केप्ट इट वर्टिकल देन आई थॉट ओ ये तो तीन ही कॉलम है आई कैन डू वी लुक अप ओके एंड देन वी लुक अप किया तो देन व्हाई इट इज वर्किंग वी लुक अप अप्रोक्सीमेट इज वर्किंग बिकॉज दिस डेटा सेट नीड्स टू बी अरेंज इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर इफ इट इज नॉट अरेंज इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर नहीं चलेगा ये कीप दिस इन माइंड आई नेवर रिकमेंड माय लाइक स्टूडेंट्स टू यूज वी लुक अप अप्रोक्सीमेट बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ देम डोंट नो कि वो वर्क कैसे करता है वी लुक अप अप्रोक्सीमेट वर्क करता है इट लुक्स फॉर द नियरेस्ट वैल्यू सो वट एवर इज योर डेट सो लेट्स टेक और फर्स्ट डेट इट सेल्फ वट एवर इज योर डेट ट्वेंटी सेवन तो उसको नहीं मिलेगा यहाँ पे सो इट लुक्स फॉर द नियरेस्ट डेट टू ट्वेंटी सेवन बट ऑन द लोअर साइड सो मेरे को इसका फर्क ही नहीं पड़ा लोअर साइड से मतलब था मेरे को इसको मैंने यूज ही नहीं किया बट स्टिल इट इज गिविंग मी दिम रिजल्ट बिकॉज वी लुक अप अप्रोक्सीमेट लुक्स फॉर लोअर साइड नियरेस्ट वैल्यूज एंड लोअर साइड क्या था ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ सेप्टेम्बर था इसके इसके लिए सो वट एवर वॉज योर रेंज ड्यूरेशन कीप द फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ दैट ड्यूरेशन एज द मैचिंग क्राइटेरिया ना उसके बाद यू डू वी लुक अप अप्रोक्सीमेट एक्स लुक अप वट एवर इज मोर कंफर्टेबल एज पर योर वर्जन गो हेड विद दैट सर वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्स लुक अप एंड वी लुकअप Uh, x lookup and v lookup x lookup is a newer function it has more capabilities it is easy to write okay okay so maybe what i would suggest uh, uh, nirmala you have just joined so if you see or group okay we have uh, this sheet mentioned over there okay, okay. we have five sessions recording so past all the past uh, including this one everything mm -hmm. recorded so if okay. you 
you will see this tweet and here we have spent a decent amount of time roughly two and a half hours discussing the lookups okay so go through them and hmm. also have this particular section of lookup functions in our course also cover okay. all of them. and uske baad if you are left with some more doubts in your particular hmm. data set then okay we will discuss it in the doubt session also okay fine sir okay sir and i i i believe that today many people mentioned to cover basics of we look up or look ups and advanced look ups i would suggest that first go through these uh, like ready made resources which are already there and then let us discuss the real problem real data set which where you are not able to implement it okay okay sir thank chalo so i think uh, let's uh, close the call for today varna bahut zyada heavy ho jayega yaad kuch rahega nahi theek hai next session i would request you to cover some more topics from the course pick any of the any or multiple of these topics jo bhi ek ek ghante tak discuss hue hain theek hai and then yes. let us discuss few more things in the next session whatever it is and be prepared with the sample files so that jaise ki uh, sapan was able to send his file right so now usko pata hai ki agle matlab usko kya karna hai uski sheet mein immediately okay if these files are not there i will give you a half baked solution to you okay yes sir yeah and kadam aapke liye i will try again some other better formula and let's see if that works with you okay sir okay bye bye guys thank you take care all the best good night good night good night sir. thank you sir bye bye